as promised, we got two projects here. Uh, I just took this one out of the printer and put it together, and it took like eight minutes to put the whole thing together. And three of those were finding an elastic band to go up here. And I still need to take apart a pen, you know, the clicky type pen to get the spring out to put in here to make it easier to spread these jaws. But this little, uh, this little portable tripod kind of folds up and you can loosen this so that you can change your angle. You can loosen this one so you can do horizontal or vertical. I actually made this for Jonathan to use when filming for our guitar channel. You can go check him out at Dearly Guitarded. Uh, I was going to say .com. It's not got .com. It's Dearly Guitarded on YouTube. Um, and you'll see some of his videos for guitar gear and bass gear where it's all handheld. So now he'll have a tripod to use. And then when I'm wiring guitars, I sometimes need to hold parts still. So I printed this out of three different types of PETG, the uh, bass with the articulating arms with these little clamps. So when you're soldering wires, you need to hold all the parts perfectly still. So I can hold, I can use like two arms to hold a part and then use a the other two to hold the wires that are going in. So everything is all steady and the solder comes out good. That's in theory. I haven't actually tried this one yet. I've got another one to show you. I'll have to do that in another video because I just, out of this batch, printed some parts to finish that one. But yeah, useful projects coming out of the Elegoo Centauri Carbon once again. The only problem I have now is I broke my scraper that I used to get the brims and other filament residue off the cold plates. So and I gotta figure out how to get that off. If you have suggestions, please let me know.